Right, this is Elka Capri Jr. Made in 1973. Alright, let's just go through a few of the sounds. Flute. Which is uh, the bassiest sound. Higher flute. Just, just the same sound, different octave. Okay. See. So if you have both. Then we've got strings. Which is really buzzy. Vibrato. Trumpet. of a keyboard player, if anything. And this one is Mixture, which the switch is broken on this. It works, but it just doesn't stay up. Which is that sound. So I don't know what it's a mixture of. Select the mixture by popping it up. which makes the lower octave solely bass you can't play chords with it anymore it's just single notes
apart from that switch being broken at the back um, the other funny thing just on the bass and the flute notes these two notes just stop sometimes which I don't know what the fault of that is because it's mostly mechanical this thing and transistors so um, Sometimes they don't seem to work. It's only on the flute voice. Actually, even the higher flute is okay. Just the bass on those two notes. So I don't know if that's fixable. Not bad since it was made in 1973. And I've uh, left the screws off. Let's see, Daisy. So we can have a look inside it. That just slides off. Just turn the volume down a second. Unclips the black bit. Right. As you can see, it's all just transistors, no microchips. There's a series of little wires that make contact with metal bars inside. Just move that. As you can see, if I go. It's all uh, pretty amazing, it still works so well. And these are the tuners for each note in an octave, and then it just tunes itself for the rest of the octaves. So, by turning these, you can do the pitch up and down on every note to get it in tune or to detune it if you want. So that's the. Uh, I was gonna say that's the Elka Junior, but that's my Elka Junior. With faults and all.